Welcome to the AEM stage, Jack Sharkey. Hello, Red Ventures. My name is Jack Sharkey, and I'm a staff engineer on our central corporate technology or corp tech sector. I've been with Red Ventures for a little over eight and a half years now, and over the past year and a half, I've had the amazing opportunity to lead our internal web accessibility initiative. Today, I'm incredibly excited to share with you all a short story, which is the short story of how we embedded accessibility across RV. But first, before I tell this story, I want to make sure we're all coming in with at least a baseline understanding of what web accessibility is and why it is important. So, what is web accessibility, you ask? Web accessibility is the inclusive practice of ensuring that websites, tools, and technologies are developed so that people with disabilities have equal access to information and functionality. Essentially, ensuring that everyone can use your website or app equally, regardless of any disability. And why is it important? I could easily talk about the legal ramifications uh, for ignoring it. Those are very real. I could just as easily talk about the business case uh, for why to invest in it. That's also very real. Uh, but instead, I want to touch on the human element of web accessibility. And I'm going to get vulnerable and intimate with you guys for just a second here for this part. Uh, today, an estimated 1.3 billion people currently experience some form of significant disability. That is about 16% of the world population. And as healthcare and technology continue to improve, and we all uh, live longer, which is great, that number is going to keep increasing. Uh, in fact, most of the people in this room know at least one person who is living with a disability right now. And the harder truth of the matter is actually that most of us will probably face the challenge of living with a disability ourselves at some point in the future. So that's really why accessibility is important. The future, our future, is accessible. So back to our short story. To tell this story correctly, I want to start by asking you all a quick question. How many of you have something that you know you need to clean up, organize, or take care of in general, and the way that you handle it, handle it is by just avoiding it entirely, right? Because <laughs> ignorance is bliss. It's probably most of us. Now, there may be a few people in the room who are outliers and are completely organized in every way, uh, but for most of us, avoidance is a rather natural human reaction response. As a result, this behavior exists not only at an individual level, uh, but also on a business level as well. For you, it might be a string of text that you're avoiding reading completely. <laughs> might be an injury that you're avoiding having looked at. Or it might be a closet, or uh, yeah, it might be a closet you adamantly avoid turning the light on because you just do not want to see what is in there. For Red Ventures, one such closet was web accessibility. But I stand here in front of you today, happy to report that last year, we officially took that momentous first step and flipped the figurative web accessibility light switch across our whole org. We took a real hard, honest look at where we were, and it was not pretty. Now, this brings me to the second part of the story. What do you do once you flip that proverbial light switch and you've uncovered a mountain of work? And to add to that, you have incredibly limited resources, and you need it to be done yesterday, like everything else. Uh, <laughs> essentially, how do you accomplish a lot with a little and in a short amount of time? The answer for our web accessibility team was actually surprisingly simple. You ask for help. And last year, our team did just that. We asked for help from all of you, and we got it. We received help from our, uh, we received buy-in from our senior leadership team. Thanks, Rick. We also got buy-in from tech leadership across each and every sector in the business. So thank you to all our tech leaders as well. But the most important piece of help in the success of our initiative was the group of individuals who were willing to step up and act as lead accessibility champions for their respective sector or business unit. This group of people were willing to take on an immense challenge and set of responsibilities and deserve a huge, huge thank you, not just from me, but on behalf of the entire organization for doing something that elevates us all as a whole. So let's take a moment to give everybody a round of applause right now.
but it wouldn't be fair for me to stop there. I want to take a moment to say thank you to each and every one of you who were involved in making this change happen in any way, whether it was directly on the engineering side of things, on the design side, on the content side, or even just asking the question, hey, were accessibility best practices taken into consideration here at any point in your team's process? You all deserve a huge round of applause too, so please give yourself a round of applause now. Everybody who is involved in any way. With your help, we went from having over 100,000 accessibility issues identified across all of our websites to having just a handful in comparison today. We went from having accessibility best practices being somewhat considered on a few teams to having a network of champions representing every single sector of the business. We successfully embedded accessibility across Red Ventures and drastically changed the way we approach it. So now, in closing, promised it was a short story, in closing, I would love for you all to take away two things from the presentation today, really. One, if you know something to be important, don't be afraid to flip that light switch. Whether it's for you or for your business, it might be uncomfortable. Actually, it probably will be uncomfortable. But that's where the magic is. That's where real growth happens. Lastly, don't be afraid to ask for help when you need to accomplish a lot with only a little. We have an amazing group of talented people here at RV who are exceptionally caring and extraordinarily helpful. Thank you all so much for letting me tell that short story today. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you again to everybody who helped make that change happen.